everyone, it's Gustavo Ciardi, application engineer here in Optotune. In today's video, I'm going to show you an example on how to interface Optotune's liquid lenses with the lens controller provided by our partner Gardasoft. First, let's give a look at the portfolio of our electrical tunable lenses. The clear aperture of our lenses ranges from 3mm for the small EL310 up to 16 mm for the large EL1640. Halfway, we have the mid-sized EL1030 with a 10 mm clear aperture. One of the major strengths of our electrical tunable lenses is the speed at which they can be controlled, with response times down to 3 milliseconds, making them suitable for extremely high throughput applications. For further details, on our lenses and their applications, please refer to Mark's machine vision video presentation. Our partner Gardasoft has developed different options to control our lenses. We have the CL180 suitable for industrial 24-7 operations. Then the CL160, which is housed directly into the Hyros connector of our EL1640 for a very compact and space-saving design. Then the CL190 for OEM applications. It is worth mentioning that the CL160 and the CL190 are actually the same driver, just with different form factors. In today's video, I'm going to show you an application using the CL160 driver. Let's look now at the main features of the driver. It can be operated either with UART or I2C communication. It can output currents ranging from minus 250 the plus 250 milliamperes. It features also an analog 0 to 10 volt input, and there are several SDKs available, C Sharp, C++, and Visual Basic. As mentioned before, the form factor is embedded in the EL6040 Hyros adapter. Now I'm going to show you the main components for today's demonstration. We have an optical board, which includes a white backlight, two transparent USAF targets placed at different distances, one with respect to the other, a mounting post for the camera. Then we have a CMOS camera, a 25 mm lens from our partner Avatar, which includes in the optical design, the Optotune EL1640 and the CL160 Cardasoft driver, configured in UART communication protocol. For visual purposes, I have removed the cover so that the driver is visible. Then we have a modified Hyros cable, which will allow the communication with the driver. And finally, a USB to UART cable, which will allow the communication with the computer. I have now mounted the camera and lens to the optical board. Reattach the cover, connect the driver with the Hyros cable and the camera with the camera cable. Now I'm going to show you how to connect the modified Hyros cable to the USB to UART cable according to the pinout of the CL160 driver. For ease of visualization, we have color-coded our wires. We have red for supply voltage, black for ground, orange communication in, and yellow communication out. Make sure to connect the communication in and communication out properly. Finally, I'm going to connect the USB to UART cable to the computer. Now that all the hardware is connected, we can launch the OptoTune cockpit. To connect to the devices, click on the Connect Device button. And now you can either choose to connect to the devices singularly or to connect all together. In the upper left corner, we have now all the devices connected. If we, for example, click on the serial number of the driver, we can see the serial number of the attached lens and other menus. We can now access the camera and by clicking on Live View, we can start the stream from the camera. You can see now the two USAF targets. One is in focus and one is out of focus. We can also change the camera properties by clicking on Camera Properties. For example, if you want to change the exposure to out exposure, we can use the drop-down menu and do so. 
If we want to go back to manual exposure time, we can insert the number in the entry. There are many other different camera properties that can be addressed in this menu. Let's have a look now at the embedded autofocus feature. To do so, we click on the camera lens setup and we click on the autofocus menu. We have again the live view from the camera. Now, if you click onto the image, we can run the autofocus. You can see now one of the two USF targets, the other now, and then you can keep running the autofocus as many times as you want. As you see, the autofocus is very fast, in the order of one second. Of course, one can also change focus manually by opening the menu of the lens, the optical power menu. With the focal power slider, one can smoothly change the optical power from one point to another. Now we can also give a look to the Pro Autofocus mode, where there are many other parameters that can be changed. If you run the autofocus now, we can also see on the bottom right the autofocus plot. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.